After years of wrist pain and settling for mediocrity when it comes to my productivity workflow, why was I settling? I was contorting my body to fit the equipment I had instead of investing in the right tools that would fit me, which would allow me to focus 100% on the task at hand without compromise. So many of us spend a third of our life sitting at a desk, working on a computer, you'd think our first priority would be to optimize our workstations to be as comfortable as possible and efficient as possible. But it's not, not for a lot of us. I have been buying and selling all kinds of gear lately to optimize my computer battle station for work and gaming. And today I wanna to talk about arguably the most important part, the mouse. I'm no expert or anything, but over the years we have collected numerous mice. I've never bought a top tier mouse. I guess I never thought it was that important. We were at Best Buy the other day and I walked down the mice aisle and tried a few, nothing special, until there was. I put my hand on the Logitech MX Master 3S and I instantly fell in love. It's got buttons, it's got scroll wheels. I didn't even know I needed it until I touched it. Now it's not perfect as I'll talk about shortly, but for someone like me who does video editing, photo editing, and is getting back into gaming, this tool allows me to do all of those things in a way that makes it feel effortless, like it's an extension of my body. And how do you put a price on that? Well, you do. It's $99 US or 129 Canadian. So close to 150 bucks for me after tax. Now, while that's not the cheapest thing to buy, it's not really that expensive when you consider it's something you use all day, every day. See, I'm obsessed with symmetry. When I was a teenager, I used to always wear my backpack over one shoulder because I thought it was cool. Yeah, fast forward a few years and it effed up my shoulder and I had back pain for years. <laughs> Teenagers. The point is, this mouse paired with a low profile keyboard like I have here allows me to sit for hours in a position that doesn't warp my body, creating nagging pain. So check this out. This is the mouse my wife just bought, as she has also had lots of wrist pain lately. She is extremely happy with it, and I like it too, but I wanted something a little more traditional, and that's what I love about the 3S, is it opens up my wrist like an ergonomic mouse without compromising the speed and the skill that I've developed over my lifetime of using a normal mouse. I'm not gonna go deep into the features as there's other videos which talk about that, but I'll touch on a few. First thing I loved was the scroll wheels. The top one just has a beautiful spin to it. It's made of machined steel and just feels premium. You can also click this button and it changes the waterfall-like spin to more of a clicky tactile spin, which also feels great, but I love the butter smoothness of the never-ending spin. Then there's the side scroll wheel, and I just love this thing. You can set it to whatever you want, and you can customize each button for each program. Horizontal scroll, zoom in and out, it's just nice. Then there's this little secret button I didn't even realize was there until I installed the software. It adds gestures, so you can have even more customizability. Ridiculous. And you can use the mouse anywhere since it has an incredibly responsive sensor. Remember the days you had to use your mouse on a mouse pad or it was just terrible? Oh, oh, and I forgot the best part, the clicking sounds or lack of clicking sounds. I don't want loud clicking. There was an MX Master 3 and then this is the upgraded version, the 3S. The main thing that's different and what I love about this 3S is they made it 90% quieter. Hey, if I'm in bed with my laptop using this mouse and I wanna play Diablo, y'all who've played it know what I'm talking about, I won't annoy my wife with the constant clicking sounds. This has a very satisfying click without sounding obnoxious. I love that. Now you may have noticed this mouse earlier and thought, hey, that looks pretty. Why doesn't he like that mouse as much? Well, this is a gamer mouse. I got it when I bought my computer recently since I bought it used and it was included. It's a dope mouse that's very popular right now with gamers, but it's too long for my, what I think is a pretty average sized hand. It doesn't feel natural to me. It's also really light, which I could see why gamers like, but I actually appreciate more weight to my mouse. I find it helps me be more precise, especially when I'm using Photoshop. The heavier MX3S feels almost like a curling stone on ice that you guide. It's very stable and very nice. You don't wanna have to pick it up every split second. With that being said, gaming on this thing still feels amazing. Plus, the battery life seems awesome. You supposedly get 70 hours on a full charge and get three hours off one minute charging, which is sick. The software installed allows you to customize everything and tells you when you need to charge it. I was worried that charging it would be annoying, but nowadays the batteries and chargers are so good, that's not a concern. It's USB-C. Now I said it wasn't perfect. If I could have my cake, I would change the hand placement oh so minimally. 
But that's it. That's the only bad thing. So, should you buy the MX Master 3S mouse? Without hesitation, I'm going to say yes. If you spend any time at all on a computer, especially lots of time, then you should buy this mouse. Sure, it's not the cheapest item, but it's not that expensive, not considering how much time you spend using it. I think this is one of those items like shoes, pillows, mattresses. If you don't invest in a good mouse, you are potentially doing damage to your body that you might not be able to recover from. I know lots of people that pay to do physio to fix their wrist issues. Not only does a good mouse help align your body, which alone is worth everything, it really feels like an extension of your body while using it and makes working on a computer feel good. This is no doubt the best mouse I have ever used and I feel extremely confident recommending it to you. You should probably buy it too. The only reason you might not want to buy it is if you are a gamer and you want a light mouse. I could see if you were playing Twitch games for hours all day. Sure, maybe this won't be ideal since it is heavier. And also, if you get sweaty palms, I mean, look at the breathability on this gamer mouse. But for the rest of us, this has made my life better and I like that. I think it would make your life better too. Thanks for watching. I have included an affiliate link below if you decide you want to try it out. I suggest just buying it with the intention of returning it, then you'll probably feel the same way I did and you will regret not buying it sooner. Plus the link below doesn't cost you anything and I get a few cents, <laughs> literally. But everything really helps out. Sadly, the YouTube game is not very profitable when you are a small creator, as I talked about in this video. Next, I'm gonna be talking about the keyboard I have purchased recently, which I will link here once that video is ready. Does it get the extremely high recommendation that the mouse received, or is it going back to the store for a juicy refund? Watch that video next to find out. See you next time on The Sad Life. <laughs>